Hello guys, um, so like a week or so-ish, a week-ish ago, I asked you guys to ask me some questions for a future Q&A video, which is what I'm going to be filming today. So I posted on Twitter, I posted on Instagram saying to ask me some questions, and I also mentioned it in one of my videos. So today I'm going to be going through all these and answering your guys' questions. And now I'm not actually going to be like saying any names or putting them on the screen or anything, just because a lot of people asked the same questions and I don't want to like give one question like, I don't want to give all the credit to one person when like 10 people ask the question, so I'm just going to read a question and not say any names just because I got a lot of questions from multiple people, like, you know. <laughs> a lot of people ask the same questions, so I don't want to credit it to just one person, I just want to answer it and then everyone who asks the question gets their answer and then the whole world is happy. I feel like I should have an animal with me, so hold on. Okay, I went and I got Sunny, my rabbit, and I brought her some toilet paper tubes that I'm just going to throw on my bed and then she can play with them. She is a very sweet bun and I love her. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the Q&A now. All right, well now that I am here, I have my bunny. Let's get into the questions. I have them on my phone, so let's go ahead and read some questions. Right, let's start out with this one. This person here asked six different questions, so let's go and answer those. Okay, question number one age question mark i am 18 current job question mark i currently work in a retail clothing store and i do youtube that is that's all i do future career that i'm not entirely sure of i'm not in school right now as some of you may know but i am taking some time off to really try and figure out what I want to do. I still have yet to think of something that I want to do, but I do know I want to do something animal related. I might take like a vet tech program or maybe like a zoology degree, I don't know. Um, I still haven't really decided, but I do know I want my career to be animal related. Uh, future animal. I really want a cat. I want a reticulated python. I really want seahorses, but like, there are a lot of maintenance, so I don't know, but like, I think they're really cool. There's like just so many that I want. Like I could say literally everything that I don't have. Like I want a bearded dragon. I would basically, for to answer your question of future animals, it would just be everything that I don't already have. Favorite animal category, like reptiles, fish, and small animals. If I had to choose one, I would probably go with reptiles just because I have the most reptiles and I feel like if you want to have like a lot of pets, reptiles are the way to go because they're very low maintenance where animals like sunny here, like small animals, like bunnies and stuff, they are definitely more high maintenance. And fish tanks can be really high maintenance too, so if I had to go with one of those categories, I would probably go for reptiles. I think it's like so hard to compare them because they're all so different, like, because small animals you can like bond with, like me and Sunny have a great bond, but then like I don't have bonds like this with my reptiles, like you can't really form bonds with reptiles, so I don't, I don't know. They're all just too good to choose. Right, Sunny? And least favorite animal. I'm assuming you just mean animals in general and not like least favorite of my animals because like I'm, I can't do that. <laughs> my least favorite animal would be a horse. This seems <laughs> probably really weird to people because most people love horses, but I they creep me out. Like I am not scared of like any animals except for horses. Horses creep me out. I, I just... Horses aren't my thing. Okay, next question. What is your dream species slash morph of snake? Species, like I said earlier, I'd really like a reticulated python, but like I also want a green tree python and I want like an emerald tree boa and a lot of different snakes. There are a lot of snakes. There's just so many different snakes out there that it's like hard to pick one and um, morph. When I hear morph, I think of ball pythons because ball pythons have like the most variation of morphs. I definitely want a banana pied ball python. Bananas are one of my favorite and pieds are one of my favorites, so I really, really want a banana pied. <laughs> Next question. What's your, oh, wait, what? Hold on. If you could have any animal, what would it be? If I could have any animal,
know. It's so hard to choose like just one. Like I just want everything. I want too many animals to pick one. I honestly don't know. I want more chameleons, like different chameleon species. I really like chameleons, so I think it would be really cool to have more species of chameleons. So I guess, I don't know. That would be my answer. The next question, why did you start your YouTube channel? And best advice for someone looking to start a YouTube channel. Um, I really started my channel just because I knew I was super passionate about animals. I had a lot of animals and when if you're like me and you have a lot of animals, you probably know in your like day-to-day -day life there's not that many people around you who can really relate to you. Um, you don't come across too many people in person that have 20 pets or are that obsessed with animals. So I really started YouTube because I wanted to connect with people who had similar passions to me because I knew if I went on YouTube and I started a pet channel, obviously I would be connecting to other pet lovers. And then part two of that question is advice for someone looking to start a YouTube channel. My advice would be be patient and set small realistic goals at first starting you like it takes time to grow you're not going to post one video and instantly blow up it will probably take you a couple months to start gaining some popularity to start gaining some views and be patient with that like don't expect to just post a video and then get a hundred thousand views right away that's not going to happen you have to be patient and you have to be interactive and you have to be consistent all of these things will help make you successful so you really do have to be patient you have to be realistic and you have to just be prepared for that just know you are most people are not just going to have one viral video and blow up that does happen for some people but it's most likely not going to happen that's not usually the way it works most people take time to grow their following they are on YouTube for years and months or whatever and they grow their channel they don't just get a million subscribers overnight they get five subscribers overnight and they continue to grow from there was your first pet? I have had pets my whole life. I was born into a household with animals and I don't think I've ever been without a pet since then. So when I was born, my family, we had a pet cat. I kind of have a couple different answers for this. So I was born into a house with a cat. So I had a cat then. And then once I was a little older, my parents got me like my first pet which were two mice. I got two female mice. I believe I was like five then. Obviously I wasn't the caretaker. Like my parents took care of them. They cleaned the cage, they fed them, but they were my pets. So my first pet that I remember being my own were my two mice. But then if we fast forward to more like my life right now, like my first pet that I got independently, I had a fish tank for a long time so like I'm not really gonna count my fish tank because I pretty well always had fish tanks for growing up. So really my first pet that I really got myself that like really that I took care of that I paid for that really got me into the hobby was um, my rabbits. I got my first rabbits back about two years ago and then it kind of grew from there. Now I did have other pets growing up, like I said I had my cat and I had mice and then I also had other pets that my parents got me like guinea pigs, um, African fat tail gecko, leopard geckos, but yes I grew, I was born into a house with a cat. My first pet that my parents got me were my mice and then my first pet that I really like independently owned were my rabbits. Our sugar gliders a pet you would ever consider? I'm asking because I know a lot of pet YouTubers are opposed to it because it's hard when they are so much work and you have a lot of pets. I think sugar gliders are really cool. I think they're cute. I think that they're really fun. But I agree with most of the other pet YouTubers out there that they are a lot of work and it would be hard to take care of them while owning so many other animals as well. I think 
like where I am right now in my life, I would not consider getting them. I know for a fact right now, I just don't have the time for them. All of my other pets take up a lot of my time, I work. So I know right now that I don't have the time, but I don't want to say that I would never get them because maybe in 10 years I will have much more free time or something. So if I ever had enough time to properly care for them, I would definitely consider them. But for the time being, I know that it, they're not really an option for me, but I don't want to say that they will never be an option. She's really liking these toilet paper tubes. <laughs> Are you having fun? <laughs> Next question, who is the oldest pet and who is the youngest pet? So if we go by age, my corn snake ghost is most likely the oldest pet. I've only had her for a couple months, but she was a rescue and she was about six years old when I got her. So she is probably, she's still around six years old, maybe seven, I don't know. I don't know when her birthday is. All I know is I was told that she is six years old when I got her. So she is probably the oldest and my youngest pet would probably be my gargoyle gecko who I just got a couple days ago and is like this big. If you could choose to be an animal, which would you be? Probably, if I could be any one of my animals, it would probably be Sunny here because she is spoiled rotten. She gets all the cuddles in the world. She gets all of her treats. She just is living life to the best. She is just such a spoiled rotten bunny. I would probably choose to be her. Are you scared of any animals? Um, I guess this kind of goes with earlier when I said horses. I don't like horses. They creep me out. They horses no no horses for me next question what are your main goals slash goal for your youtube channel as well as your animals in 2018 really i don't have any goals in specific for my channel i just want to keep growing i want to keep interacting with you guys i want to keep educating people i want to make more friends really i would say my goal for my youtube channel is just to become more active in the YouTube community. I feel like now that my channel is growing some and now that I am actually very confident in my- why do you keep liking me? <laughs> um, now that my channel is growing some, I feel very confident in my channel. I am extremely happy with it and I would really 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 like to get involved with more with the YouTube community more. Like I would love to do more collab videos. I would love to interact with other YouTubers. I would like to go to events. I really wanna to go to VidCon this year. I'm looking into it so I might do that. I just really, really want to become a part of the YouTube community. I would really say that's my main goal. I don't really have a subscriber goal. I just want to continue to grow. I want to continue to educate people and I want to really just make this a big part of my life. And goals for my animals. I think what I'm kind of feeling right now about my animals is rather than like getting any new animals or anything like that, I really want to focus on providing the best care I possibly can for the animals I already have. Like I would love to give all my pets like enclosure upgrades, tons of new toys, new supplies and just things like that. Like I would love to give everyone best life they possibly can have. So I would really say my goals for my animals is just to improve everyone's like quality of life. I'd like to give my pets bigger enclosures. I would like to interact with them more. Not that I don't think I'm doing a good job right now. I think I, I personally think I'm doing quite a good job of caring for my animals already. But my goal for my animals, I guess this year is really just to go be of my goal for my animals this year is really just to go above and beyond with them. I want to do as much as I possibly can for the pets I already have. So yeah, I would say that's my goal. And maybe to get her to stop licking me everywhere. <laughs> have you ever had a scary experience in your life? Um, I've never had anything super terrifying. I really, I'm, one, I'm like a hypochondriac where like one little thing is wrong with my health and I just freak out like I went to Dominican last year and I came home and I got very sick and I thought I was dying 
So that was scary, but I mean, I turned out to be okay. I, was, I didn't die. I just needed to drink lots of water. But um, that was scary. I was in the hospital for like two days, convinced I was gonna die. So yeah, that was scary. And I was in a car accident before, but thankfully, no one was really hurt in the car accident, but it was definitely still scary because I mean like the car was written off It was a pretty bad accident, but luckily no one was so I would just say being sick in the hospital was pretty scary And being in a car accident was pretty scary. And the next question is are leopard geckos or crested geckos better or the other way around? Um, I can't really say one is better than the other. I think it really depends what you're looking for 